Hey, happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, kind of an interesting start to the market today, right? Uh, a couple of people had asked already. Uh, I did not get beat up this weekend um, by anything other than my razor. Uh, trying to shave a little bit too quick there. <laughs> so I actually got a couple of them. But um, look, guys, ignore the messenger and listen to the message. All right. <laughs> uh, look, uh Nice little start to the market this morning, right? Come out of the gate bullish. Um, it makes sense, right? We got the big tech earnings this week, uh, and it'll kick off after the market today with Tesla. Um, that should create some excitement. We'll see if we get a little volume surge here, depending on what Elon and the crew over there reports. Uh, they've had a couple good earnings in a row, right? Uh, they're profitable. They're pushing cars out. They're moving forward. Uh, let's see how that growth is going. And then that will kick off massive earnings right we've got facebook we've got apple we've got amazon we've got uh who else is in there microsoft right uh we've already had netflix and that was of course a disappointment for uh the market um in the sense that uh, they had a little slowdown in their subscriber growth their bottom line numbers look good though they're still very profitable and stuff like that and you know there is a lot of sag uh in the we talked about this right uh we still think if you're if you're a netflix bull you've got a good reason to be uh other than that guys uh we're kind of we'll have a stock of the week tomorrow but Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin had a big bounce uh, this morning. We've been talking about that pretty much daily, um, how it's just uh, for the last week or so. Since that last Friday, it just was in this funk. Um, now, I learned something this morning. You know, you're never too old. You're never too experienced to learn something, especially with Bitcoin, right? It's a new world. And you guys know we've talked about it, right, with our membership. Uh, some of our members, uh, we had a little made a little crypto group uh to have some fun with it we took 200 bucks started a little crypto account and it's actually doing pretty good um but we learned something and uh, the whole idea was that uh not so much to build uh not so much to get into this euphoria and stuff for crypto but to learn about it right it's an important part of what's going on in the world um and it's probably here to stay we'll see uh, only time will tell like everything else now what we did was we went ahead and we've told you about this right last week that we went ahead and started a little group. We started a little portfolio, but we learned something important. I had no idea. Did you know that they can trade options on, on crypto? And one of our members made a good point. We were talking about it in the live room this morning. And one of them came out and said, Hey, Friday was actually month end expirations and stuff or a bunch of options were expiring and stuff. So that kind of makes sense, right, to us as stock traders and options traders, um, because we understand the effect of witching, right? When you have a triple witching, you know how volatile the market gets. Things just get weird, right? Um, and now all of a sudden, Bitcoin is up, I think it was up 8%, about $4,000 this morning. It's still in that 52, 53,000 range. Um, needs to break out to challenge that new high, that old high of a uh, little over 60,000. So, but it's gotten bullish. And you can kind of feel it in the market too, right? After uh, Thursday morning, the market started getting real bullish. Then we had the uh, tax plan announcement from uh, Joe Biden, President Biden, and it just buckled the market. But the market Friday bounced right back. All the stocks like Apple, uh, we told you guys uh, last week, we picked up a little earnings play on Apple, right? We bought some 134s about uh, till Friday, and we'll see if we can get a little run into a uh, earnings on Wednesday. And, and look, guys, that's when the excitement will start. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys for too long. You know, it seems like everything's getting a little bullish. That's why we got the bull behind us today. Uh, we're not in a spaceship, but uh, let's see how this carries through because, you know, you could, you could really talk about a lot of things right now, but really all that matters is how Tesla launches this earnings, uh, seg this section of the earnings uh, season off right uh if tesla can get it off to a good start and then we get some carryover through all the other ones uh this could be another big bull leg and we're kind of feeling like it's gonna be uh oil oil's having a good morning this morning it started off a little bearish but it just broke out of the gate about an hour hour and a half ago uh you know we've got some energy plays set up and those are starting to look real good right now uh and patience right guys uh we set those uh we bought those plays into weakness and now we're enjoying these bullish uh movements moves from them. Um, but we're ready, right? We're not chasing. We're not uh, 
scrambling and stuff. We positioned and we're ready. So look, guys, let's call it an update. Okay. Like I said, I don't want to keep everybody for a long period when there's really not a whole lot to talk about right now. Um, let's see tomorrow stock of the week. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to kind of return to the normal format. Uh, we've found something we really like. It'll shock you again. It's, uh, it's a lot like uh, Hershey, uh, where we, we remember we had Hershey as the stock of the week a couple of weeks ago. And we we're talking about everybody forgets about Hershey, the stock, right? It's easy in today's stock market um, to get so infatuated and so fixated on the blinky lights and the high profiles that you forget that this market really has a ton of Great companies with long, long proven track records with great dividends, great balance sheets, and no reason to believe that their products are going away. Hershey is one of them, right? Chocolate. I mean, Hershey bars have been around forever. Um, so tune in for that. We'll be back tomorrow morning with our morning update. Uh, we'll probably have a lot more to talk about as we get the... Uh, um, as we get those Tesla earnings today after the bell, and then we'll start getting some big ones tomorrow. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. Earnings season, the tech week is always so much fun with earnings season. Um, and that's why it's one of the few times that we'll take these little one week pokes on options. We usually like to try and maybe like, maybe, I guess you could call it swing trading, um, but it's more of a position and let the move happen and things like that. Give yourself a little nice little leeway there on the time frame and stuff. But uh, earning season, you want to get the sizzle, right? You want to strike when the iron's hot. And so we'll see if we get that from Apple. Um, we think Apple will have great earnings, but here's the thing. Remember last Apple earnings, fantastic earnings, right? I mean, they made a billion dollars in profit in a quarter. That's not even, uh, that's not total revenue. That's not, uh, bank accounts and stuff like that. That is free and clear, billion dollars in profit fresh cash um and the stock just went down right <laughs> and actually you know you know we actually lost a couple of option plays on that expecting the stock to go up and then uh just not reacting properly let's see if we get the opposite effect from that this time we think apple will have blowout earnings um it could have been a little dilution too. We were, we were looking at the chart and there could have been a little bit of cleansing of dilution over the last couple of weeks with Apple, or at least since their last earnings, I guess I should say two, three months. Um, you know, in this market, right? Two, three months feels like a day. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we think uh, we it had the stock split before that. So there was a little dilution in there. Um, maybe some repositioning in some of your big funds, your big institutional buyers uh, because of that, right? Um, if you're under strict rules, if you think about it. If you're running a massive fund and you're under strict rules for percentage positions and stuff like that, and all of a sudden your one share is three shares, um, it kind of discombobulates things and you have to adjust there. It could be that we, you know, nobody's really sure. I don't think, um, but we think Apple is going to have great earnings and we think this is good. This is going to do it really well. Uh, other than that, guys, if you own Tesla, good luck. Um, you've the last couple quarters have been good quarters for you. And I don't think at this point, there's really any reason to believe uh, that much has changed as far as the positive outlook for Tesla. We'll see. Uh, you never know until you see that report. And then we'll roll into the other ones. Facebook, uh, think about Facebook over the last three months, right? Uh, really, Facebook's been kind of quiet, right? Uh, usually you see Facebook in congressional hearings and all this stuff. Eh, you know, they hate Facebook, this and that, they love Facebook. Um, but you haven't heard about it a lot. So maybe it was just business, 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 which as an investor you love because it's all about how much money they make, right? And how well and efficient they run the business. Uh, and then we'll have Microsoft. We know Microsoft's had some uh, been in the news over the last couple of months uh, with some big deals and things like that. And the stock has just recently made all time highs. So this might be a precursor to something big with Microsoft. You never really know. Again, it's earning season. You really don't know until you see that report. You know what I mean? And even after you see the report, you really can't be sure what's going to happen because sometimes a good report gets interpreted uh, poorly uh, or somebody gets, uh, 
a little petulant and starts selling or, you know, it's a bad earnings report and they start buying for some reason. Uh, let's see the data before we make a decision uh, on how this, that, how this will turn out. But anyways, guys, look, uh, we're going to go heal up from our uh, <laughs> razor experience there. Uh, sorry about the visual. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with our stock of the week. Uh, let's go have some fun. Okay, guys, like I said, uh, Tech week for earnings is always a lot of fun. If nothing else, even if you don't own the stocks, we don't own Tesla, um, but we do own Apple. Uh, we don't own Microsoft, but you know, a lot of people do. Uh, it's just fun. Even if you don't own it, it's just fun to watch, right? It's just amazing. It's an amazing time. Uh, you Bitcoiners, good job holding, hanging on there. If you bought that little dip, man, you're really making some nice money right now. Uh, I think it got as low as what forty-seven thousand over the weekend. So you're already up five thousand a coin. Um, the way things are looking right now. Right now, I'm looking at a quote right now for Apple. It's a little bit. It's pretty much flat for the day. It started out strong after the gate challenged at one thirty-five level. Um, pulled back off that kind of just went sideways since then. Uh, probably it's the market, right? The market, you know, you get the early positioning, right? You might get some late afternoon positioning, but for the most part, everybody's just kind of sitting and waiting and waiting for those reports to come out. And so let's see how they go. Uh, and like I said, tomorrow we'll be back with another update. We'll have a lot to talk about because of Tesla and stuff. And we'll get some in the morning too. I don't have my list on me, which ones in the morning, but uh tesla it's all about tesla right now right elon loves that you know the guy loves the attention right uh and let's see let's see how well elon did we were talking about this right about a month ago or two months ago and then my problem with elon was he was doing everything but running the company you know what i mean he was on doggy coin he was uh talking about 420 he was smoking pot with joe rogan uh everything but running the company and that concerns us uh because you know your ceo is a very important position and especially in elon musk right he's such a visionary and stuff like that without Te without musk tesla is nothing um even at the point it's at and so we got concerned with that but it looks like everything's right uh, and we'll see if uh the proof is in the pudding after the bill uh all right, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning with a with an update. Uh, we'll have the Tesla earnings and stuff like that. We'll also have a couple good earnings in the morning and we'll be rolling. We'll be about a day away from that Apple release. Apple is after the market on Wednesday. All right. OK, guys, and don't forget, we're going to have a really intriguing. Uh, stock of the week. All right, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow.